Hello and welcome back to Educator.com and AP Psychology. This time we're going to be taking a look at cognition. Overview of cognition, is we're going to be looking at how biological, cognitive, and cultural factors converge to facilitate acquisition, development, and use of language. So that's going to be one of our upcoming, one, uh, upcoming segments. This one, we're going to be looking at problem-solving strategies as well as factors that influence their effectiveness. We're also going to be looking at creative thought and creative thinkers. So cognition, what is cognition? Cognition is the set of mental activities associated with thinking, knowing, remembering, and if you were around for the previous segment, when we were segments when we were doing memory, memory is part of cognition, and communicating. So ideas behind memory. Well, one is concepts, and that's a mental grouping of similar objects, events, ideas, or people. And so one example would be chair. There are many different kinds of chairs. There are high chairs, there are recliners, there are dentist chairs, there are classroom chairs, there are little kid chairs, there are big kid chairs. So, you know, there are chairs with different kinds of designs. But the basic idea of chair is a concept. And then, of course, within the concept, we can have categorical hierarchies and subdivisions of the concepts. So with concepts, we can play with um, car, we can play with chair, we can play with whatever concept it is. And then prototype is a mental image or best example of a category. And so what we do is we match new items to a prototype, and that provides a quick and easy method for sorting, sorting items into categories. And so a prototype of a bird might be a robin. And so, you know, robins are not too overly big. They're, um, they're brown. They've got the tiny little eyes, that tiny little beak. They've got the wings. They have the particular body shape. They've got the two legs. So when we encounter a new bird or a new, excuse me, a new animal that we think might be a bird, how much does it fit that prototype? Now, when you look at penguins, you're thinking, eh, maybe not so much. And so that's one of the interesting things in uh, science is how we categorize items using the system. I think that was Linnaeus who, um, uh, who created that uh, system of sorting and categorizing. But when we look at the robin, how closely does the, uh, do other birds potentially fit that prototype of robin? And no, I'm not talking about the Batman and robin, but the bird robin. Solving problems. One way to solve problems is like a computer does. It's a methodical, logical rule or procedure that guarantees solving a particular problem. It guarantees solving a particular problem. So there's step by step by step by step. And that on the Big Bang Theory, there's Sheldon's friendship algorithm. And I have um, a drawing of that coming up. There are heuristics. And heuristics are rules of thumb, which is an expression to say it's a guideline. And so it's a simple thinking strategy that allows us to make judgments and solve problems more efficiently. And it's usually speedier, but it's also more error prone. And that's okay. There's also insight, and that's a sudden and often novel realization of the solution to a problem. And that contrasts with the strategy. strategy. I almost went um, uh, Bugs Bunny on you there. Yeah, it's a strategy uh, with strategy-based solutions.